Hello, my name is Leonard Ginsberg. I'm the chairman of the Morai Institute. The reason you're now watching this is one of the retina doctors here has told you that we want to do an intravitreal injection in your eye with anti-VEGF medications such as Avastin, Lucentis, or Regeneron, for instance. This medication works by blocking a substance known as vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF. VEGF contributes to the development of abnormal blood vessels under the retina, which can affect your vision. An anti-VEGF drug can help reduce the growth of abnormal blood vessels and slow their leakage as well as reduce the swelling of the macula, which helps slow vision loss or even improve vision. So let's discuss some of the important things you should understand about anti-VEGF treatments for AMD because if you are informed, you'll be less scared. Anti-VEGF treatments are given through a series of injections into the eye about every month or two, certainly for the very first three injections. We may try to taper it less, but since this medicine only works for 30 to 40 days, the blood vessels can start to grow if we don't continue to inject every month or two or even more frequently some people may need. So the way we do it is we first dilate your eye, we put a little numbing anesthesia onto your eye, and then we put betadine, a type of sterilizing cleaner, around and in your eye. Then we put a small speculum that holds your eyelids open so you don't blink. We then measure where we will inject. Then the medication is injected into the vitreous, which is a jelly-like substance in the back chamber of your eye. This medication cannot cure AMD, although some people may regain some of your useful vision. And for others, the medication may not restore vision that has already been lost and may not ultimately prevent further loss of vision caused by this disease. You do not have to receive treatment for their, your condition, although without treatment, AMD can lead to further vision loss. As with any medication or procedure, there are of course risks and side effects and complications with anti-VEGF treatment. Side effects and complications may include eye pain, corneal abrasion, subconjunctival hemorrhage, also called a bloodshot eye, inflammation of the eye, visual disturbances such as small specks in the vision, also known as vitreous floaters, a retinal detachment, lens damage such as a cataract formation, which is clouding of the lens of the eye, or glaucoma, which is caused by increased pressure in the eye. Damage to the retina, cornea, or lens can occur, and bleeding, eye infection, loss of vision, and the need for more treatment, including medication and surgery, may also be needed. You may see a couple of floaters or bubbles in your eye. Actually, if you go like this or like that, you'll actually see the bubble move. Don't fly and don't scuba dive if those bubbles are in your eye. While the procedure itself usually does not hurt, your eyes may feel irritated like something's in it that night and even for the next day. However, you should always feel back to normal within two days or shortly thereafter. And even the next day, you should begin to feel a lot better. If instead your eye suddenly starts to feel worse, call us immediately. On behalf of all the physicians of the Moore Eye Institute and the Retina and Diabetic Eye Institute, I want to thank you for trusting your care to us. We will do all we can to help you in any way possible. We are there for you. We're a team.